Hey you guys, happy Saturday. I'm hiding in a corner of my bedroom because everybody's awake and everybody's looking for me. And I wanted to get on here because I wanted to talk about something that is really important. Um, it's a big piece of this puzzle that I don't talk about as often as I should. And it's the piece of self-development. Because listen, even though this is a fitness-focused group, this is an accountability group. Um, the journey that you're going on here, it might start off with fitness-related growth, um, exercising consistently, learning about nutrition. But part of my goal for each of you is to start picturing this in a much bigger lens, a lens of improving yourself daily, right? Not just your physical health, not just your nutritional health, but really your overall health, mental, spiritual, emotional. And uh, working out kind of gets you jump started on that track. But what I want each of you to focus on is how you can start incorporating in an element of self-development. So one of the things that I do is I've been doing the Miracle Morning. I know I've recommended this to most everybody on here. But just let me set a challenge or a goal for each of you. I have this little journal right here that I bought at Target. It was like $3. It's just blank lines. And every morning what I do, and I just kind of started again through this 21-day challenge because I had kind of gotten away from it, is I write every morning. I put the date. I put whatever scripture or um, quote from the book that I read that really speaks to me. It really kind of impacts me in some way. I write it down. I write my gratitude, I write my prayer request, and then I really just go through each morning whatever's on my heart, whatever I want to encourage myself to work on, whatever I want to inspire in my children and my marriage, uh, things that I want to ask for forgiveness for or uh, praise God for, you know, all of these things are things that I document. And it doesn't take, it's just one page every day of thoughts. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot of, you know, you doesn't need an hour. You just need 30 minutes. And every morning I do this and I write down, you know, what time I woke up, what workout I did. If I'm weighing myself that week, I track my weight. It's a way that every day I hold myself accountable to the person that I want to be. Who do I want to be that day? I set my heart right, I set my mind right, I set my intentions right, and I strive that day to accomplish all of those things. And it is amazing what setting your intentions in the morning can do for the rest of your day. And it can change your life. So here's my challenge. Some of you are already doing this. If you're not doing something like this, uh, you can make it your own, whatever you think would work for you. If you're not doing this, I challenge you to do this. For the last two weeks of this 21 day challenge, I challenge you to try. For those of you that are working out in the afternoons, I challenge you to wake up 30 minutes earlier, 30 minutes, that's all it takes. Go to bed 30 minutes earlier, wake up 30 minutes earlier and do this. Read a book, read the Bible, read a devotional, write down your intentions for that day, write down your gratitude, all of it, center yourself. For those of you that are working out in the morning and not doing this, wake up 30 minutes earlier or carve out some time after your workout to do it. Um, it. It is just something that I think can take a lot of us to the next level. So try it. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you're already trying it, I'd love to hear how it's impacted your life. Um, and let's just try to keep developing ourselves one step at a time. Happy Saturday.